Oh look, see, we gotta go. So we got this baby here. We about to trap like you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello animal lovers and welcome to our channel here at the Atlanta Humane Society. I am Kate Mullaney and today I'm here with the Trap King himself, Sterling Davis. Yo, what's good? <laughs> trap like you know. We're about to ride out and do some trapping, a uh, little TNR. We got a couple of different spots. Hopefully we can rescue some kitties. I'm not going to say hopefully we will rescue some kitties. Let's go find some cats. Let's get it. We're on our way right now to a spot that I've been trying to get to for a minute because I stay busy out here in these streets. People reach out all day, every day. You know, I seen some kittens. We got too many cats over here. Can you help out? And that's what I do. We're gonna save some cats. Oh yeah. Okay, so we are here at the location. It looks like there's one cat and several kittens that we're going to trap and oh, yeah. bring into the Humane Society. You got it. We about to trap like you know. <laughs> <laughs> People that be trapping, that do it, and been doing it, doing it like the ladies that taught me, you be in a zone. <laughs> you be in a zone. I'm about to line the traps up with newspaper. Now, tonight's feast. <laughs> I got some sardines. I always keep some Ruva with me. It's dope, cats love it. Some red salmon? You gotta have different baits. I think we're gonna get a little bit of all of it. How about that? Crazy, I've trapped some of the same cats like six, seven, eight different times. Yeah, to say, like I know them. I had named them before. I usually name the cats I trap anyway. So even if it's a cat that I don't recognize, I, if it's got the ear tip, I'm letting it go. The way he is preparing these meals to trap these cats is like a feast fit for a king. That's the least I can do because when it first all happens, they're going to be like, oh, I hate this bald guy. <laughs> now it's time to set some traps. Oh yeah, this is a, uh, this is a true catch trap. The first time setting it can be a little confusing if you, you know, not real trap savvy just yet. These two rings have to slide up at the same time and you can kind of just use your other fingers to lift this door up. You have a lever right here at the end of this door. So you basically want to do a balancing act between those two levers. And that's going to attach to here, to the catch plate that's down here. When the cat steps on the trap and it gets all the way to the back of the trap for the food, boom, they step on the catch plate and that's gonna set the trap off. That's how the true catch trap works. It's a pretty dope trap. We gotta get from over here so these cats, I know they smelling it. I know they smelling it. We got two more. I wanna put these closer to where we saw the cats actually at. A lot of times, like I say, I, I like to try to see where they are. You wanna be where they are, see where they willing to sit. Like these cats was out in the open right here. So, I mean, to me, this is kind of open because usually, you would put them more deeper inside the bushes. I like to put them inside the bushes a lot. Hide them because cats like to, they like to hide. Put this one kind of off in the bushes a little bit. This spot is too good back here to pass up on though. I gotta do it, baby. I gotta do it. Okay, so Sterling has set how many traps? Six? Uh, yeah, we set six. And so, see, they just follow that on in. Oh, look, see, we gotta go. They already over there by it. I actually just saw two cats over by one of the, the actual first trap that we set. So, that's quick. yeah, that's quick. Pulling some covers out now so we have them on deck because as soon as you trap the cats, you want to make sure that you uh, cover it up. Like I say, it's already a traumatic situation, so you want to make sure you try to make it as comfortable as possible for them. 
see he he ready to go ahead and go in there he ready to get in there okay so let me go get the cover because i know i got one i know we got one Sterling is going to go get the trap cover because we got one. One down, one to go. Here he comes. You can see the orange one. You can see him kind of hanging around almost like, kind of worn trying to check on him. Like, that's probably Pops. About to see what we got. Hey, buddy. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I know, I know, I know. You want to cover him up? You see, that's why I said a good cover is good because they scared, you know? It's bad enough, so you try to cover them up so they calm down. Coming with the king, you coming with the king. So we got one. Got this baby here. Not ear tipped, really cute. Had a good feast. Definitely, we can go ahead and uh, spay and vaccinate, do the thing. We on the same team, baby, don't worry. We are on the same team. Okay, so the other cat is not quite taking the bait yet. Sterling is going to wait here all night as long as it takes until the other cat becomes trapped. That's what I do. And he's going to then take them to the Atlanta Humane Society. They're going to get altered. And then he's going to return them to here because this is their home. And that's how we do it. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Even if you rescue one cat, it's still good because that cat could have made four or six more and on and on and on. So don't get discouraged. And like I say, I'm about to be out here all night. Be sure to check out the Atlanta Humane Society's YouTube and Instagram. You can find the Trap King. Where can we find you, Trap King? Yeah, on Instagram at the underscore original Trap King. On Facebook at Trap King Humane. Uh, Cat Solutions. I have a Patreon page too. If you all do Patreon, check me out. But definitely on Instagram, you'll see me. My big head butt chasing cats all the time. I think we should end with some hisses. Okay. <laughs> I love it.